What's up Safari Nation and welcome back to another wildlife photography video. Getting into wildlife photography and finding that perfect camera for you to start out with can be quite a daunting process. There's a lot of people with very different opinions and there's so many options to choose from when it comes to the actual camera. But as they say, the proof is in the pudding and that is why I think that Canon's EOS 77D DSLR camera is hands down the best camera for any beginner wildlife photographer. <laughs> to buying a new camera I like to find a balance in three things price specs and practicality so let's start with the price if you're just starting out as a photographer chances are that you're looking for something more on the budget side of things besides what's the point in spending over four thousand dollars for a camera body if you're not even going to be making that money back using said camera that's why Canon's 77D ticks the first box it's a great camera for beginners because it retails for less than seven hundred and fifty dollars on Amazon and that means you have more money to spend on a better quality lens but more on that in another video. Secondly, the specs. For wildlife photography, you generally want a camera that has a decent ISO range for low light photography. You want a faster shutter speed shooting at a higher frame rate to make sure that you can get those action shots, especially when your subject is moving. And then you also want to make sure that the camera has got a decent amount of autofocus points so that your camera gets onto target a lot quicker, gets in focus and you can snap that shot as soon soon as possible. Now, the 77D has an ISO range of 100 to 25,600. It shoots shutter speeds of 1 over 4 thousandths of a second at 6 frames a second, and then it also has 45 autofocus points. Also, it has a 1.6 crop sensor and shoots 1080p video quality at 60 frames a second. So the specs that you get for the price are spectacular. And finally, practicality. The camera needs to feel comfortable in hand and it needs to be sturdy enough to take a knock or two as I spend most of my time photographing wildlife on safari. I also want to be comfortable with where all the focus buttons are and all the little buttons to change various settings and that kind of thing because I want to maximize my time in the viewfinder so that I don't have to look away from my subject changing settings. Now I know that this kind of thing only comes over time and by consistently using your camera but from the get-go the 70 is comfortable in hand, the buttons are spaced out well enough and it's quick for my muscle memory to pick up on where which buttons are and I can change the settings without having to look up from the viewfinder. So there you go guys, I hope that this video helped you feel a bit more comfortable about buying your first camera for wildlife photography. Comment below what you think the best camera is for wildlife photography beginners and also if you have any questions leave them in the comments as well. I would happily get back to you. But for now get up, get out and get shooting. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers!